Hello viewers, today I have uh, Honor 8X Max which is running EMUI 8 version and today I am going to root it. Viewers, you need to enable file transfer mode uh, while uh, phone is connected with PC and then you need to tap on uh, build number 7 times. By tapping 7 times you will enable developer options and then in developer options you need to enable OEM unlock and uh, USB debugging. My OEM unlock is already enabled and uh, I will also enable USB debugging. We was USB debug debugging will only work if uh, you have enabled files transfer mode for your phone. Once USB debugging is enabled you need to uh, open CMD on uh, your phone uh, on your uh, computer before proceeding we need to copy magisk uh, zip file to your SD card next step will be to open the CMD actually the minimal ADB I am using minimal ADB interface here you need to type uh, ADB devices to check the connectivity and then type ADB space reboot dash bootloader and press enter when you will press enter the phone should uh, immediately enter fast boot mode which is also known as uh, bootloader mode in fast boot mode we can see that phone is showing locked now we need to unlock the bootloader of our phone Viewers bootloader code can be obtained only in Android 8 version. So the command is fastboot space OEM space unlock space and enter your code then press enter. When you will press enter on your phone screen a warning will appear. You need to choose yes by using volume up and then press power button to confirm your decision. Once you press power button the you should see that a warning that your device has been unlocked it means we have successfully unlocked the bootloader of uh, our phone now the phone should uh, perf perform a factory reset so make sure you back up all important data from your phone before proceeding with the root now we, we should wait uh, until this factory reset process completes and phone backs uh, boots up normally You need to go through initial uh, configurations and then again enable USB debugging by tapping uh, 7 times on build number. You will get into developer options. Again we need to tap 7 times on build number to enable developer options. And then in developer options you need to enable USB debugging. Okay, once uh, USB debugging has been enabled, we will move to computer and uh, here we will open that uh, CMD screen again and type here ADB reboot bootloader command again to enter the fast boot mode. Now in fast boot mode we can see the phone is showing unlocked. It means uh, the bootloader is unlocked. So now we will flash the TWRP recovery command is fastboot space flash space recovery underscore RAM disk space and then drag and drop the TWRP recovery image on the CMD window and press enter. The flashing has been successful. Now we should uh, disconnect uh, phone from uh, computer. Now hold volume up and power button simultaneously. 
viewers uh, when you see this screen you can uh, leave the buttons see the first attempt failed again we need to hold volume up and power buttons when you see that uh, warning screen you can leave those buttons and phone should automatically enter TWRP recovery mode you can see I have to uh, try for several times all and then I succeeded in entering TWRP recovery when you see this uh, message that uh, device is unlocked just leave those buttons and uh, phone should enter TWRP recovery mode now here uh, in TWRP recovery you need to swipe to allow modifications and then tap on install and uh, then tap on select storage and choose your uh, SD card you can also use OTG drive and here you can see that uh, Magisk zip is there tap on it and swipe to confirm the flash now this flashing process uh, will take few seconds okay flashing has been successful now press on uh, reboot system and press do not install on next screen next, next screen now the phone uh, should uh, reboot phone just rebooted now we can see that magisk manager is there we need to connect to Wi-Fi so that uh, magisk manager manager can verify the version installed uh, on uh, our phone Wi-Fi is connected now we will again open the magisk manager yes it is saying that magisk is installed and it is giving you update you if you want you can uh, install the new update now next step will be to installing root checker you can uh, download uh, it from play store or from any other uh, website you can download the root checker it's free the root checker has been downloaded I will uh, install it now open root checker and then tap on verify root grant root access and uh, it will say that uh, phone is uh, that root is uh, properly installed on this device this is how you can root your phone viewers uh, make sure you disable automatic updates on your phone you can disable automatic updates in developer options otherwise if your phone uh, update automatically overnight it may get bricked so thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos in future